Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me just briefly say um, I'm not a member of the mainstream media. I actually have a uh, day job. This is really more of a hobby for me. I believe the mainstream media, and this is an outsider's perspective, I believe the mainstream media has an inherent flaw in it. Right? Most of the people covering boxing in the real world, not online, but in the real world, are trying to uh, get access to fighters, get access to entourages, get access to stories. Right? They're doing their jobs. They're being journalists. But what that means is that they can't be as critical of the fighters and their fight styles as outsiders here online can be. In other words, um, we're not trying to, you know, be part of some fighter's posse. Here, my perspective is simply that of a gambler trying to get an edge on the casino. Right? So, right, let's have at it. Let's talk about Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. I believe that fight is going to be announced shortly. Right? Let's talk about their weaknesses in the ring. And let me say this. I consider both of these fighters to be first ballot Hall of Famers. Make no mistake. These guys are toward the top of the game. But just like we look at politicians right presidential finalists and we look under the hood to see what the engine looks like right just like we critique the most important positions out there let's go ahead and do that for both of these fighters right now in my opinion in terms of greatness in the ring and we'll define greatness as the combination of talent right and that's hand speed foot speed, punching power, with technique, right? The method by which the fighter uses their talent, right? In terms of greatness in the ring, I don't believe it's close between these two guys, right? I believe Floyd Mayweather is a all-time great who belongs in the same paragraph with other all-time greats. I believe Mayweather's talent is such that a quarter century from now we're going to look back on him just like we look back right now on Ray Leonard. Right? By contrast, I believe Manny Pacquiao is more of an in-the-moment fighter. In other words, we view him as great just like we viewed Brett Favre as the best ever toward the end of his career. And then, of course, once Pacquiao retires, I believe there's going to be a readjustment. I believe we're going to realize that we were caught up in the moment. That Pacquiao is a first ballot Hall of Famer, but that there are holes in his game that negate the possibility of him being considered with, let's say, a Ray Robinson, a Ray Leonard, or a Floyd Mayweather. One man's opinion, let's talk about those flaws right here, right now. The first flaw I see with Manny Pacquiao is that he has no offense on his back foot. I'm going to try to just catalog these, make it brief. Right? He has no offense on his back foot. In other words, he has to come forward or he has to move side to side. He can't fight you backing up. When he does, he doesn't have offense. Right? There's no Ray Robinson against Gene Fulmer type of offense backing up. There's no James Tony in Manny Pacquiao. Right? Miguel Cotto in a fight that Pacquiao won convincingly. Right? One by stoppage. Early in that fight, Miguel Cotto backs up Manny Pacquiao. Now, maybe he does it with Pacquiao's consent. That's an open question. But just understand that 
when Pacquiao backs up, right, there's no possibility of, let's say, Ali Liston to, right? When Pacquiao backs up, there's no offense coming back. In other words, he's a front foot fighter. Second problem that I think in Pacquiao, uh, second hole in Pacquiao's game. I don't believe he has a right hand from distance. In other words, he's developed a little bit of a right hook up close. He can't really throw the right hand from distance, right? I believe against a great fighter, that would be a big problem, right? That actually decreases the effectiveness exponentially of his left hand, right? Third hole in Pacquiao's game is that he's not defensively blessed. He can be countered on the way in. Exhibit number one would have to be his last fight against Juan Manuel Marquez, right? Pacquiao's defense is his foot speed and his head bob, right? He's not a guy who relies on an armed guard. He's not a guy who comes in and is catching shots on his forearms. That's not his game. It's not part of his game. Another problem is that Pacquiao is not adaptive reactive, right? He's not a reader dash chess player. He's more of a soldier. In other words, Manny Pacquiao gets instructions from his corner. Then Manny Pacquiao goes into the ring and follows those instructions. Now that's very different than, let's say, an Ali, who, if you look at the film of the Rumble in the Jungle, when Ali is rope-a-doping George Foreman, big part of his strategy for that fight, you'll notice that his corner is screaming with him to get off the ropes early in that fight, right? Ali, during the fight, is in the ring with Foreman and notices that this strategy is effective, right? He's making decisions on the fly. The fighter is making the decisions not the trainer. He had a great trainer, Angelo Dundee, who would later become Ray Leonard's trainer. But understand, Ali in the ring is reading the action and is making decisions, right? He's observing and then he's reacting. I don't believe that's Manny Pacquiao. Another hole in Pacquiao's game is that Pacquiao can't stay in the pocket. He has to move. He has to jump side to side. He has to move around the ring. He's not a guy who is going to stand in front of you, figure out how he can neutralize, let's say, your right hand, and then go to work. Right? He's not James Tony today on his best days. Adrian Broner's game where Broner can stand in front of you tuck his head know that if he rolls this way your right hand is toast and that he can then exploit other weaknesses that's not Pacquiao's game I'm not saying Broner's better than Pacquiao what I am saying is that part of Broner's game Pacquiao doesn't have another problem with Pacquiao is he can't fight slow Right? He's relying on speed, really one speed. Right, He's not a guy who's going to be able to rope-a-dope you. He's not a guy who comes in, hits you, and clinches you. Right, Pacquiao has to be in third or fourth gear. He can't downshift to second gear. So you'll notice a fighter like a Vladimir Klitschko can literally take rounds off. Right, because he has that jab pumping. He doesn't have to break a sweat to win slow rounds. There are no slow rounds with Manny Pacquiao. Right, I believe that these traits make Pacquiao predictable. You know you're not going to get hit with a right hand from distance. You know he's going to be jumping around the ring. 
You know he's not going to set up shop right in front of you and work you over from the pocket. Right? You understand that he has to come to you, and when he comes to you, you can set traps to possibly catch him on the way in. Right? Um, you saw Floyd Mayweather take out Ricky Hatton with a check left hook. Right? The point is, you saw Marquez take out Manny Pacquiao with a right counter. Right? The point is that. Mayweather and Marquez knew that these opponents would have to come to them, right? I believe an opponent of Manny Pacquiao knows Pacquiao has to come to them. Pacquiao's not going to dance around, shoot a jab, and win rounds on his back foot. Let's talk about Floyd Mayweather, right? Understand everyone has holes, right? Even a great quarterback like Tom Brady doesn't have a lot of foot speed. Right, so let's look at Floyd Mayweather. I believe a, a big weakness for Floyd is that he doesn't have the big punch. Right, he only has one KO since 2007. Only one KO since the Ricky Hatton fight. And that was a debatable KO over Victor Ortiz in a fight in which there was a lull in the action. Right? The referee, Joe Cortez, is looking outside of the ring. Victor Ortiz is looking at Joe Cortez and is defenseless. And then, of course, Floyd Mayweather, with a clean shot, takes out Victor Ortiz. Not every fight's going to be like that. Right? Understand, Floyd doesn't have the margin of error because of the absence of a big punch. He doesn't have the margin of error that a Ray Robinson had, right? Ray Robinson's losing to Gene Fulmer, right? One punch KO, right? Think about Hearns. Think about Hagler. Two guys with greater than 70% KO ratios. Think about Leonard. A greater than 60% KO ratio. Understand that Leonard and Hearns actually went up to at least super middleweight. Right? I know Leonard was credited with the light heavyweight title. That fight contractually was at 168. Right? Understand a Pacquiao Mayweather fight would be at 147. Right? Hagler and Hearns had bigger punches and were taking out men in bigger divisions than Floyd Mayweather, who has a less than 60% KO ratio. Right? One KO in the last seven plus years. Another problem for Floyd is he's a slow starter. Right? You saw what happened in the Shane Mosley fight. Understand it's systemic. Floyd is in the ring looking at what you're doing. Odd angles will throw him off. He's trying to read the angles early. He's trying to match up what he's seen on film. And make no mistake, I don't care what they say on 24-7 or any other show. Floyd Mayweather studies film. Right? It's, it's obvious looking at him early in fights that he shows up with an expectation. Right? Floyd's matching up what he's seen on film with what he's seeing in the ring. So Floyd's vulnerable in those early rounds. You remember Shane Mosley almost ending it early against Floyd. Take a look at the Zab Judah film, a forgotten film out there. Judah wins the first three rounds of that fight. In fact, Judah drops Floyd in the first three rounds of that fight. Floyd's glove hits the canvas. Right? Mayweather is vulnerable early. The challenge for an opponent <clears throat> is to do something that they haven't done on film. It's to be unorthodox and it's to start a fight against Mayweather where you're hiding your hands, where you're leading with power shots rather than throwing combinations that Mayweather can read, learn, and then defend against later in fights. 
But I believe Floyd's biggest problem, and it's his biggest problem by a wide margin, is that he's disconnected from the crowd. And it's a big problem. Because boxing's a beauty pageant. Boxing is like ice skating. Right? You have three judges who are scoring the fight. Who at the end of the fight are going to turn in their scorecards. Right? Guys who do well with judges are guys who understand what the public likes. What the public wants because we know judges can be impacted by the crowd right Marvin Hagler great champion he's fighting Ray Leonard a guy who hasn't fought for three years Hagler shows up to the arena and the crowd is on Ray Leonard's side why right it's because Hagler doesn't have the people skills of Ray Leonard right it's because Hagler whether privately he's very empathetic or not doesn't convey that empathy publicly the way Ray Leonard does what I want people to do is to look at the scorecards from Hagler Ray Leonard now the fight is a close fight on two judges scorecards but understand there's a third judge who turned in a scorecard that had Hagler losing that fight if you could believe this by six or more rounds preposterous scorecard now my point to you is simply this in big fights you often have that lone nut judge right who is off the reservation and that lone nut always seems to coincide with the crowd sentiment. Right now for this fight between Floyd and Manny, even in Las Vegas, Floyd's adopted hometown. I believe the crowd is going to be a Manny Pacquiao crowd. And the reason is that Floyd is disconnected from the crowd. He doesn't know what we like. Let me shift gears a little bit. Get off the grid. You know, Jerry Seinfeld, like Floyd, is brilliant in his craft. Excellent comedian. Top shelf. Right? Jerry Seinfeld, who really has given some of the better interviews of late, recently revealed that he personally considers himself to be on the autism scale. Because... Steinfeld, <clears throat> Seinfeld, who's excellent at observational humor, excellent, admits that there are times he's in a room with a group of people and someone tells a joke and everyone else laughs and he doesn't get the joke. Right? There's a little bit of a disconnect between Jerry and the public. Right? And Jerry himself is trying to figure that out. Right? I recently saw a movie, great movie, The Imitation Game. Gets my highest rating. Great picture. Right? Alan Turing, great scientist, the father of computer science. Right? In the movie, they continually remind you of the fact that Turing who had no problem building computers couldn't understand basic social interaction right the crowd was a bit off limits for him he didn't understand it right he understood science he didn't understand human relationships now let's talk about Floyd Mayweather here because I think it's a big problem he has. Right? Someone apparently told Mayweather or perhaps it was Mayweather's own idea to post an ultrasound on Twitter. Now let me say this. I don't think we really have considered this enough because it does impact gambling. 
right? There's a guy who's posting ultrasounds on Twitter of terminated pregnancies. Does that guy really have a deep understanding of how to appeal to fans and judges? Because it matters, right? I'll say this. You know, we rooted for Ali against the then world heavyweight champion George Foreman. We wanted Ali to win that fight. We rooted for Ali against Joe Frazier in the Thriller in Manila. We wanted Ali to win that fight. We rooted for Ray Leonard against Big Bad Thomas Hearns. We rooted for Ray Leonard against Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Now understand all of the opponents were legit. Right? George Foreman, heavyweight champion. Fraser, Olympic gold medalist, former heavyweight champion. Thomas Hearns, unbeaten at the time, champion. Right? Marvin Hagler, one of the dominant middleweight champions in history. Right? Had literally run roughshod over the division. Had beaten people like Duran, Thomas Hearns. In other words, legit champ. Boxing Hall of Famer. And yet, the public was with Ali. Ray Leonard. Why? As you watch this video, do you think there's even a remote possibility that an Ali or a Ray Leonard would post an ultrasound online of a terminated pregnancy? Right? I was watching... <laughs> a show 24 7 or all access some some PR piece before a fight involving Floyd Mayweather and I was expecting the usual you know hey my opponent's gonna be tough and you know, I'm here in the gym training here's what I expect here's why I think I'm gonna win and I saw Floyd's daddy there Floyd senior now we all understand egos don't we Right? Anyone who's gone to a family Thanksgiving dinner and a family that's a little bit dysfunctional knows that you have to navigate a lot of egos. We all understand egos. We all understand family dynamics. Right? Many of you watching this video, I'm sure, have gone through months of your life where you haven't spoken to your parents or a sibling or what have you. Right? We've all had family issues. But I'm watching this show and Floyd Sr.'s there and he's just there because he's proud of his son right you know he wants his son to win right you know he's there uh, there, there there's added intrigue there's his brother Roger who at the time was Floyd's trainer okay so the family dynamics a little bit tense cameras rolling right let's just say that when Floyd starts ripping into his daddy, it's uncomfortable. Let's just say Floyd rips into his daddy on the telecast in such a way, and I know it's a few years older, and I'm sure Mayweather's older and wiser today, but he rips into his father on film in such a way that you understand that this guy has absolutely no understanding of just how painful that footage was for many of us to watch. It's riveting, right? You know, many of us look at car crashes, right? You're on the highway, you see a car crash, you're like, oh my God, not that you want anyone to be in a car crash, but it's riveting, right? The footage is riveting, but let's just say to me, the footage shows that Floyd doesn't quite understand how a Ray Leonard or a Ray Robinson or an Ali got crowds on their side. Right? Let's just say Floyd doesn't quite understand how Manny Pacquiao gets crowds on his side. 
right? Just doesn't. There's a bit of Jerry Seinfeld in Floyd Mayweather, right? I see him. I think he's a great fighter. He's one of the very best I've seen, right? But Floyd Mayweather is starting this fight a round and a half behind Manny Pacquiao, right? In his city, Las Vegas, right? And I know Floyd's originally from Michigan, but in his adopted city, Las Vegas, Floyd's going to walk into an arena that's going to have more Manny Pacquiao supporters than Mayweather supporters, right? The public respects Floyd Mayweather like it respects Marvin Hagler, right? The problem, and it is a problem, and it hurt Hagler, is that boxing's an expectation game. If Manny Pacquiao looks at the film of Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, not to say that Manny Pacquiao has Ray Leonard's skills, but if he looks at the ebb and flow of that fight, the tricks Ray Leonard uses to steal rounds, right? We're two minutes and 45 seconds into a round. Oh, here's Ray Leonard throwing a flurry. Right here's Ray Leonard moving around the ring. Here's real. Here's Ray Leonard framing his punches. Right, not not just throwing punches, but having facial expressions to kind of draw us in. If Manny Pacquiao looks at that film and sees how Ray, right, even when his stamina starts to go, is able to you know do certain things to kind of give the illusion that he's in control in that fight, right? Then Manny Pacquiao has a chance to win on the judges' scorecards because he's already entering the ring with a round and a half lead, right? We respect Floyd Mayweather. We don't love him, right? He's not Ali. He's not Ray Robinson. He's not Ray Leonard. Now let me say this. Understand I'm not saying that these other men are better men than Floyd. I'm not. If you go back and if you look at the backgrounds of let's say a Ray Robinson, you'll be surprised. You'll be shocked. Right? Ali once showed up to a press conference with a woman who wasn't his wife and Ali was still married right it was news to members of Ali's own family I'm not saying these other men were better men right what I'm saying though is they were better public figures right Floyd Mayweather's public persona in a beauty pageant sport leaves him vulnerable Right? If Manny Pacquiao can just come in and do a magic act like Ray Leonard, right, somehow find a way to have us ignore the body shots, right, of a Marvin Hagler or a Floyd Mayweather, right, throw enough flash, bring the crowd into the fight enough, right, flurry at key moments of rounds. Right? Posture to the crowd. You know, we talk about hand speed. We talk about foot speed. We talk about punching power. We should also be talking about charisma. Fan relations. If Manny Pacquiao can play the fan relations card, that's going to cut into Floyd Mayweather's advantages. Right? Make no mistake, I think Mayweather wins the fight. I've been saying that here online for years. But if we're talking about Mayweather's weaknesses, you have to talk about the part of Mayweather that posts ultrasounds on Twitter. Don't you? Right? You have to talk about the part of Mayweather that has his son giving statements to police. Right? About 
you know, incidences that, or an incident that led to a guilty plea. Right? Some fighters really, you know, don't engage in a lot of fan PR, but they carry themselves in such a way that we root for them. Right? Juan Manuel Marquez. Right? He's not motioning too much to the crowd during a fight. He's not flashy. Not a lot of bells and whistles. That's not Mayweather. And unfortunately, you know, Mayweather wants to be loved. That's what's so curious about the whole thing. Right? So if I'm Floyd, what I'm going to have to do, because let's face it, reputations are like cement. Once they're cemented, it's very hard to change them. If I'm Floyd, I'm going to come in assuming I'm down a round and a half. Right? I have to come in and I have to start a little bit faster. I can't give away three rounds. Because the truth of the matter is, is that if Manny Pacquiao wins four rounds... Right? Four. In a 12-round fight. People are going to be biting their nails when the judges' cards are announced. As I said, you can be a great fighter. Look at Marvin Hagler. And look at the scorecards of Hagler Leonard. I have no debate with the 115-113s. I have no debate with that at all. But you know that if Ray Leonard wasn't a fan favorite, that third judge wouldn't have had Ray winning the fight by five or more rounds. You know that. Right? One of these three judges, in my opinion, unless Mayweather takes the crowd out early, comes in, drills Manny Pacquiao, has him reeling, unless it's obvious early, one of these judges is going to have Manny Pacquiao either even with Mayweather, as a judge did in the Canelo fight, or is going to have Manny Pacquiao ahead of Floyd Mayweather. If you're a gambler, you need to be aware of the charisma gap. It exists in this fight, and it favors Manny. Right? Let me know what you think. And just to be clear, I think Mayweather wins the fight. But understand, both of these guys have weaknesses. If you feel I've been unfair to a fighter, if you have a list of other weaknesses that you want to include here, if you have a list of other fights you want us to look at, then I hope you leave those comments here in the comment section to this video. Right? As I've said, Mayweather has great film on Manny Pacquiao. Right? He has four fights involving Juan Manuel Marquez. Right? Understand, Mayweather has a lot in common with Marquez. They're both surgical counterpunchers. Right? They're surgical counterpunchers. So Mayweather already has enough film to show up fully prepared for Manny Pacquiao. I believe, May, uh, I believe Manny Pacquiao has to follow a Sugar Ray Leonard route, right? Pacquiao has the Hagler Leonard film, right? Mayweather's legs aren't as good as Manny Pacquiao's legs. Let's be real here. Mayweather's hand speed is not as good as Manny Pacquiao's hand speed. That's the same dynamic you had in Hagler Leonard. Same dynamic. So what Pacquiao has to do, in my opinion, is to sell his hand speed. Educate the public. Have the crowd on his side. Make the fight a crusade. Right? Use the clock. You have a hand speed advantage, 15 minutes left in a round, time to flash the hands. Right? Maybe even showboat a little bit. There are times where Ray Leonard would, you know, act like he's throwing a bolo punch or bend his body and stuff. Introduce us to your physical advantages. 
I believe that's the path for Manny Pacquiao to make a statement here, right? I think the early rounds are key, right? If you walk into a fight and the crowd's saying, Manny, 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 if your opponent is so socially disconnected that he thinks having Justin Bieber walk in the ring ahead of him actually attracts fans, right? If your opponent's that delusional, right? And you walk in the ring and they're saying, Manny, 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 those early rounds, you need to vindicate the crowd. In other words, the crowd's excited. They're a seven, right, on a scale of one to ten. You need to lift that to eight, nine, ten early, right? Have them thinking by the start of the fourth round. You know, an upset could happen. An upset could happen. Have the buzz happen. Right? Have the buzz happen. Then, when reality starts to set in, right? When Mayweather starts hitting you with straight right hands, right? And lead left hooks, right? You cannot let your body language look anything other than optimistic, right? You have to look literally like Ray Leonard looked against Marvin Hagler. Anyway, that's how I see it. Let me hear how you see it. I think Mayweather wins the fight. I think Mayweather is an all-time great. I think Manny Pacquiao is um, Brett Favre, right? Not quite Tom Brady or Montana. How do you see it? Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.